Welcome back to Upper Michigan Today. I'm filling in for Elizabeth this morning and we're talking about the Lake Superior Art Association with Diane Cordich and Lynn Buckland Brown. Thanks for being here with us and Thank we want to jump right into I would say probably your best known event for your association that's Art on the Rocks. A uh, little bit of the history of that event. Will you take us through that? Well in 1959 Anita Milan uh, went to Charlevoix and they had an art sale with stuff on the ground, and she thought that was terrible. So, but she wanted Marquette to have the same. And so she started uh, Art on the Rocks in 1959 uh, on Father Marquette Park on the Black Rocks, which there are two plaques there that says that this is the original site. The uh, Chamber of Commerce guy wanted her to start having this event there with him, and it got so big, part of it went inside. But then, for every place we've been, parking has always been a problem. So, um, and I don't know, I think we're in our 62nd or 63 years of it, uh, minus COVID, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, we've got some video from this year and it's a huge draw. Like you said, your association has been an economic driver to Marquette. I mean, I know yeah. there's people that come from all over the Midwest to attend, not only as an exhibitor, but to, to do their shopping there. Right. And uh, we increased our uh, traffic by a couple th of thousand this year. So wow. we're glad that it's kind of coming back and around. Yeah, it's absolutely. A, uh, a very creative place to go and uh, and and uh, spend your money with some local local artists. Uh, we've got more programming to talk about with your association. And Lynn, you're going to tell us about an event coming up that I think will appeal to a lot of people. Yes, um, we promote programs, events, and exhibits in the town. And our first one will be Tuesday, October 17th. Our, our programs are always held the, thir the third Tuesday of every month. Starts at 6.30 at the Marquette Arts and Culture Center, um, downstairs of the Peter White Public Library. And our presenter in October will be John Hubbard. He's a retired NMU professor and um, from the Arts and Design program. And he's gonna be presenting a program called Pain Pet Portraits. Yeah, and let's I check out some yeah. of those. Okay. So is yeah. this, you just learn how to paint your own pet? I, I would assume so. Yeah. Most of the programs have a hands-on segment mm -hmm. so okay. where we're taught and then we, we try it out. Okay, so what should people expect at, at this event? If you, if you know, is it, is it free to attend? Do you have to sign up in advance? How, how does it work? No, the programs, you don't have to sign up for, you just come. Okay. We've always had room. It's down in the front of the studio, um, down, downstairs at the library. Um, we usually have some refreshments, the presenter. We might have a short members meeting if there's business to discuss and then the presenter will talk and then we usually do some kind of hands-on project. Um, we, we have a variety of um, programs and events. Um, we're going to initiate something called Art Talks and in January, um, actually I'm gonna be talking about the Canadian Group of Seven which are a lot of people don't know about, but they have paintings on exhibit up in Sioux, Ontario, in the art gallery there, and they're impressionist paintings, paint, painters. Um, we have fiber artist Judy Parlato coming in February on the 20th to talk about um, some of the work she does um, with fiber arts, and she won first place at our members show this past year. Um, and then, we're really excited about the March 5th. We're having a birthday celebration in memory of Anita Milan. And um, that'll be at the Landmark. And it'll be open to the public, but it's gonna be limited tickets because they only seat so many. We have Jack Dio and um, Ann Hilton. Ann Hilton. What's her? Anyway, she's. Um, anyway, someone will they're, be there. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're, I'm sorry, Anne. Um, anyway, they're going to be do doing a, a presentation on her, and hopefully, the History Center will have a, a display. Um, they have some um, Anita Myland um, clothing, hats. She was known for her, for her fancy hats, and we're going to promote that people make or 
buy, you know, find some kind of mid-century fancy hats to wear to that. Yeah, yes. she was a spitfire, let me tell you. So we, uh, we do have to take another quick break, but when we come back uh, for our final segment, we will wrap this up with talking about how to get involved with the Lake Superior Artists Association, and we'll uh, throw out some of those dates again if you want to attend any of those workshops, but we'll be right back. Okay.